Hi everyone and thanks for the opportunity. My name is Ruth Calvo and I work as a user experience and data visualization designer. This is my timeline and I don't want to spend too much time talking about myself. This is just to give you some information on where I come from. So let's say that even having a technical background, I moved into user experience design many years ago. This is the definition of UX design. The user experience is how a user interacts with the product system or service. And I was really doubting about using the word design in this slide because many people automatically think of designers as those people who dedicate themselves just to draw and color. And I have to say that although UX design has nothing to do with graphic design, graphic designers are much more than people who um, make things beautiful. And for those who still think this, I have very bad news because as humans, we are governed by universal laws in terms of perception, psychology, social rules. And good designers have a deep understanding of this human nature. And with the help of certain mechanisms that we call patterns, uh, we can influence our, your behavior or even your opinion. But this is not a fight. This is a talk about love. And I didn't put labels on who is who because I didn't know if you prefer to be the passive aggressive or the hypochondriac. But as I said, this is about love and how research and UX design can complement each other. So let's go to it. I remember that in one of my first projects at BSC, the researchers tried to convince me that uh, the common line was the best interface for interacting with the computing tools they normally used. And it is fine for me if it's for individual use. But after scratching the surface and talking to other users, such new PhD students that joined the team, they confessed that they felt frustrated trying to understand the scope of the tool and how it worked which resulted obviously in a less productive research. So be aware that these internal problems that we have due to a lack of intuitive and auto-explicative interfaces are going to be magnified if we try to sell our research and our products to an external client. Regarding the type of projects we are dealing with uh, at BSC, I want to clarify the difference between innovation projects and optimization projects. In an innovation project, you are trying to make something new and you, you are pushing your research down to the audience and seeing how the user responds. UX can help by anticipating problems to avoid and by validating and prioritizing the functionalities of your MVP. And on the contrary, in an optimization project, you are trying to make something better, asking the audience and finding out how they feel or, or how they think about it. In the business scenario, we are going to be able to evolve from an innovation project to an optimization project. And that will be possible if we provide real value for the industry, which is transferred into human value. In the case of BSC, many of the spin-offs that have arisen from internal research projects are in the innovation phase and sometimes have to readapt to new needs or new markets when discovering that they are not fully aligned with their original expectations. UX design has a well-established work methodology and that covers from the taking of requirements and discovering new user needs to form a technological solution, and at the same time, testing the usability of these products through qualitative and quantitative metrics. Then the main benefits of UX translate into identifying business challenges and opportunities, helping to prioritize functionality and aligning the value of research with the needs of end users. Moreover, the UX process can also be applied with agile developments, also with data visualization and the, the data science projects. 
In these three contexts, the, the old linear workflow first developers and designers no longer works because this leads us to a waste of time and resources and we must ensure a competitive advantage by integrating the UX process as soon as possible in this load. For independent researchers, UX, UX can also improve the way to communicate research. Sometimes we tend to explain everything, forgetting that we are overloading the audience with too much information, when we should be highlighting only the most relevant aspects on leaving the detailed content for the formats such as interactive web pages. And to finish, what about the situation of BSC in terms of user experience design or even design? We catalog the state of maturity of companies based on this scale, where the user experience is inexistent in the worst case, that is number one, up to the maximum level of maturity in which these methodologies are fully integrated into the development processes. BSC will be currently between three and four uh, in an emerging point, but with a lack of sufficient structure to be able to consider the involvement of designers as systematic and effective. Currently, and as far as I know, we have UX designers just in two departments of ESC. One is Earth Science, and the second one, obviously, it's case. And forgive me if there is someone else in some other departments that I've missed. So thank you all for your attention. It's been a pleasure to be with you today. Remember that UX design can help you to take your science to a higher level. So feel free to contact me, to ask for advice or questions. We are here at your assistance. Thank you so much.